Okay, so this time we're going to set a timer with the paddle so that it can go back down uh, to its original value or its like original state. So in paddle, we actually have to keep track of one more thing, uh, or a couple different things actually. So in addition to the width and height, we want to always remember the starting width because we're going to be making adjustments to the value of width so we always want to have something to reference that has the original width so it can go back down to its original size so start width also equals the width and then we want to create a timer over in paddle so that uh, we can tell um, how long we want the paddle to stay at its expanded width. And timers, because they're huge numbers, or big numbers anyway, uh, are these variables called long. So it's just a long is a big integer. Uh, so long, uh, we're going to call this width timer. And um, then under was used, we're actually going to um, Oh no, we need to do this under, we need a new method. So public void set width timer. And this just is the, so width timer, we're gonna just set it to system dot nano time, which is billionths of a second. Computers are so crazy fast, billionths of a second. Um, and that's why we needed to use a long because it's going to, you know, potentially a huge, a big number. I'm not totally sure that we absolutely had to use long. It's just common practice with timers. Um, okay, and so now we set with timer. So when it's activated, the paddle. We also want to set with. Oh, the paddle. Dot set with timer. And uh, then we need to add a couple things to the paddle so that it'll go back down. Um, so under paddle, the update method, <clears throat> we need to uh, keep track. Oh yeah, we need to keep track of whether or not the there like it's a power up is in use. So we're going to create a boolean just to keep track of that boolean called alt uh, alt not addle width and we'll initialize that to false so alt width equals false at the beginning when a paddle is created and then under um, the set width uh, under set width we will just add alt width equals true and actually we'll just call in here we're going to just call um, set width timer set width timer instead of calling it in game panel uh, because this will be a little cleaner I think all right now an update we have to like you know it's updating so it's doing something um, and so what it's, we want, as it updates, we want it to check, has enough time elapsed that it should reset the, the width to the, um, to the original width. So we have to say if the current time, system.nanotime, minus the width timer, divided by a thousand to get millionths of a second, just because um, we need a smaller number to work with, it'll throw an error if we don't do this. If that number is greater than, I'm going to say, 9 million, 9 seconds, right, because it's millions of a seconds at this point, so six zeros. If that number is greater than 9 millionths of a second, I'm going to set the width to the start width, and we're going to set alt width to false. In the draw method, we actually also want to have some way to show people that it is um, 
that it is an alternate width. So under draw, we're going to actually write on the paddle. This is the way I did it anyway. We're going to set the color. So if it is set to an alt width, if alt width equals true, that's the longer hand way to write that. You can just say if alt width equals true, g dot set color, color dot white. I'm going to have this text be over the top of the paddle. Uh, g dot set font. Um, new font, courier new, you can use a different font, obviously, courier new font dot bold, and we'll set it to 18, and g dot draw string, and I'm going to say shrinking in plus nine seconds, nine minus system dot nano time minus width timer divided by a million, <coughs> right? No, a billion. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, so that um, it will be, is the paddle, is that, is X already an integer? No, it's a double. Okay, and then Y position. And I think that's right. So this little, like, thing here, you sometimes just have to sit there and figure it out. It's like, okay, so this generates billions of a second. So I want to know how much time has elapsed, like from, this is the start time, right? The width start time. So I r subtract the start time from the current time, and I divide it by a billion, and then I subtract that number from nine to get how many seconds are left. So you just kind of, sometimes you just have to write it out on a sheet of paper. There's no way I could do this off the top of my head. So I did, in fact, write it off on a sheet of paper, and then I just typed it here. So let's see if I did all that right. So I think that the paddle should shrink back and down after we make it wide. One more hit, and... Boom. Oh, but it's not in the correct place. Uh, it's just above. It's actually, I think, doing what it should be doing. Let's see if it shrinks. Come on. Come on, shrink. I should have set it to less than nine seconds so that we could see it. Okay, something seems like it's wrong. <laughs> okay, so let me see what it's actually writing. We'll fix that. Uh, oh, yeah, why position plus 18 plus the size of the font to get it down into the thing and let's change 9 to like 4 so that we can actually see this thing happen and we'll go up here and set this to 4 um, so that we can actually see it happen so that the two are coordinated let's see if I did it what's going on now where the problem is okay it goes down but then it just keeps going down. So it's at least it's keeping track of the right information. We just have to fix something and update. So if system.nanotime minus width timer divided by a thousand is greater than four seconds, we want to width equals start width, alt width equals false. So what am I doing wrong here? Did I just get a greater than equal symbol uh, wrong? Oh, might just be a parentheses issue. If system dot nano time, yeah, we have to subtract it and then divide it by a, a thousand. So I think this should work at this point. Let's see. All right, so it gets bigger, shrinking in two, one, and no, I didn't do it. It's not correct yet. What is the issue? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Um, oh, let's say and alt width is true, alt. Because we only want to do that check if alt width equals true. I'm not sure that's going to fix it, but that should have been in there, I think. All right, let's see. So it becomes bigger. And does it shrink? No, something is still wrong. Okay, I'll figure that out and explain it in the next video.